Dexter plays Slay the Spire from Mega Crit Games. Welcome back to the Wolf Pack. We're in Slay the Spire, and we are on uh, run number 27, Act 3. Uh, and I have just a couple of curses to get rid of. Let's see what we've got. We've got Normality and Decay are the two that I can get rid of. And I need to get rid of Normality, like, ASAP. So that looks like it's going to be here more than likely. But let's just kind of count. One. One. Two, two. Three. All right. So it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. So we're going to go up right through here. We're going to try to avoid as many of these fights as possible before we get to that fireplace to get that damn thing out. And we'll hit some question marks as well. Another thing that I'm doing is I have changed a little bit the way I'm going to be posting specifically Slay the Spire video content. I don't know why, but Slay the Spire has this problem with bad frames when it goes from the XSplit recording into the edited stuff that I use in Corel Video Studio. And the output of the Corel Video Studio ends up having some kind of a... Ooh, that's actually really nice. Ends up having some kind of uh, bad frame in it, and so I have to cut out the section that might have the bad frame or redo it and it could take me almost a full day just to get one video to render it's been a real pain in the ass um, so what I'm doing instead now is I'm just gonna upload straight from the XSplit because it seems like the XSplit recording doesn't have a problem <laughs> so there won't be an intro there won't be an outro there'll just be content but I'm gonna be doing that now until uh, this run ends and I end up getting myself killed off at which point in time, um, we will figure something else out. Excellent. Oh, nice. Seek. Let's go see if we can find Echo Form. <laughs> Damn it. Just came in. Mm. Oh my god. There's some normality. I don't think there's really anything I'm going to be able to do. I know what I can do. Two seeks, four, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn it, I'm off by one. But I could, I can, you know. Well, this changed. So I think I'm all right. I will take that and that. I'm going to play defrag or DK out to get no damage. Nice. All right. So echo form and normality is up next. So I don't dare play one of those things. How about forethought and economicon to the bottom? I've got a recycle in hand. That'll end the turn. Normality will come in first turn next round. I'll be able to recycle it, and I'll be fine. Dear God, the complications. Really? I won't get it. Damn. All right, what am I going to double up? I'm going to double up my energy. I'll throw out a deep rag. I'm done. Now I've got normality in my hand. First I'll go against my armor. And the first thing I'm gonna do is recycle that normality. Get that out. I get another one, so I'll go ahead and recycle of that out. Got a tempest, huh? Great. Play these, because I don't need them. Force field, chill. I need genetic. I still don't need genetic yet. We'll throw up the electrodynamics. Uh, Templar chaos. I need how much energy? 30 some odd? Oh, really? Right. So I can throw these things out, get them away. Hey, look, it's a white noise for random power, of biased cognition. Throw up the aggregate. Um,. It looks like I might as well go ahead and throw a genetic and a fusion. I guess I'm done. Put a storm in there. 
So let's uh, move our artifacts over. I got 218. See up there, circlets. Yeah, but we're coming over to look at teapot. We want to make sure teapot's at five when we kill everything so that it becomes turn six, which is the first turn of my next encounter, giving me intangible. Double up the defrag. Play these things out. Throw up the capacitor, because why not? Hey, look, it's a scrape. Why not? We'll scrape this guy. We'll scrape this guy again. Um, what else do I want to do here? Don't need an algorithm. I think I'll just play a couple of these dazes out. Normally not what I would do with these things, but yeah, why not? Right? And I've got the killing card in my hand. Tempest. Tempest is going to cast 19 points of damage 476 times plus one, plus two more for, for uh, the artifact of uh, Chemical X. So, yeah, uh, what, 490 times right now? Turn four, one more turn. Uh, what do I want to double? I'll double up a genetic. Another Tempest. Oh, look, I can do fusion, remove all my orbs. Nah, I don't think so. That's, that's, that would be stupid. Um, but what I can do is, there's something curious. If you recycle an X card, it'll double your energy. Watch my energy. See it? 479? Oh. Kind of nice, huh? Channel of Dark. Uh, let's go ahead and end the turn now. No reason to take anything because next turn we're killing these guys. One of the other impacts of this change of mine means that if I do end up in one of these cases where I end up cycling something 500 bazillion times through uh, Tempest, uh, I can't cut that out. Sorry. As you can see. Alright, so there goes that. I can't get gold or potions because of uh, stuff that I'm carrying. I also uh, don't get max HP anymore because I have muzzle. There we go. I think I've covered all of the early stuff. <laughs> I also can't get gold, but we'll go ahead and pray just so you can see me not get gold. Which means merchants are dead to me now. You're all dead to me. Alright, so this is turn five. It'll crank over to turn six, and you'll see that I'll end up with intangible means that if these guys hit me, they can only hit me for one. So my initial armor is sufficient to keep me alive for at least one additional turn. And if I can't pull a genetic algorithm over two turns, I'm in pretty bad shape. All of my get out of jail free things are gone. Um, I had... Let me think here real quick. Yeah, that's, no, no, this one goes two. I used to have two uh, fairies in the bottle, three uh, swift potions. I burned through all of those over the time that I've been here. And then, of course, I had Lizard's Tail, which I've also burned out now. So, yeah. There's that. <laughs> um, I have also had a rule up until now, or not even up until now, but I do have a rule that I have to take something from every boss chest. So that meant that there were times where there were three artifacts presented to me, none of which were great, and I ended up having to take one, like Potion Belt, for example. Or, uh, not Potion Belt, but the uh, potion thing that keeps me from pulling out like, additional potions. Um, so I'm at the point now where I think I only have one remaining artifact that I do not have, and that one is Velvet Choker. I've avoided that one like the play, because you can see I tend to use most of my plays I will probably take Velvet Choker when I feel like the nigh, you know, the end is nigh, and <laughs> I'll, I'll do that then. Um, let's go ahead and do a double defrag. I do have a recycle, but I'm going to save my recycles for the occasional things like Tempest that I pick up that I may not want. Let's seek. I think I've got everything out of my hands. I really desperately want. So we'll take that. I'm going to take a... I've got the recycle in hand still. I'm going to stockpile a Thunderstrike. 
And am I done? Good double energy, but I'm not. I'm going to wait. So with this deck, every genetic algorithm I have is over 999, which is my max armor. So playing one genetic algorithm gives me maximum armor. Uh, with the number of double energies I have in my deck, plus the Echo form, I can easily max my, my energy to 999 if I need to. Giving me something like 1,002 Strikes of Tempest. Each one of those counts towards Thunder Strikes, so then that gives us a 14 channel lightnings, 1,002 channel lightnings. So yeah, I have, I have seriously ridiculous amounts of capacity to do damage. A couple of defrag again. Get these guys out. I'm going to move a little careful. There's been a few times that I've actually misplayed a card, which is not going to be Oh, look, it's an itty bitty genetic algorithm. Let's play that one. Get it out of here. Go away. Buffer. Just in case they have to get through my armor for some reason. Uh, I got two genetics, so we'll go ahead and play one of those. Top stuff off. Do I double up my energy? I think. Well, I got two double doubles, don't I? I do. I'm going to wait again. Let's get. Initially, the way this uh, deck was built before I had Dead Branch, um, I had a lot of stuff that exhausted. And I could exhaust right down to a few cards, potentially down to two Thunder Strikes, my Tempest, and a Recycle. That's it. So then I would end up being able to cycle through the Thunder Strikes like crazy, should I want to. Let's go ahead and double double the energy. There we go, we're under 60 something. Play out these cards, see what happens to come in. There's Darkness. Darkness, my old friend. Friend. Um, okay, you guys hit me light last turn. You're going to hit me hard this turn. They hit me down to about... That, nope, I should be fine. I don't need it. Or do I want to play it anyway? So that I get... Well, my card draw. What's, what's coming up here? Yeah. I am not, I'm going to get three cards extra. So I'll get these three cards. Plus the three status cards, potentially. Won't get another genetic algorithm. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wait one turn. I need a grand total of, what, 70 points of energy to kill these guys with Tempest? I obviously do have. Turn four. Okay. We got a double-double energy. Well, let's do this the free one over here. 700. Pop it up to 999. I'm in good shape. Play off the wounds. Force field. Bullseye. Lock on to you. Buffer. I'm on turn four. Right? Yep, I'm on turn four. So it really doesn't matter. Let's do the genetic just in case I pull something like uh, the normality by accident. Play this thing out. Oh, look, I got an opportunity. Oh, no, I have Apple Amplify. Um. So some people are probably looking at this curse going, why don't you delete it? Yeah, yeah, I do this like every couple of, of rounds. Neconomic Curse is a special curse picked up from the Neconomic Con book from one of the uh, mysterious uh, places you go to. You cannot get away from this curse. It does say that unplayable, there is no escape from this curse. So when I get a chance to, to remove a card from an event, it is not in the list for me to remove. When I get to a campfire to toke these things out, I cannot toke this guy out. And even when I'm playing with it, if I try to recycle him, boom, he comes right back into my hand. So you can't get, you cannot get rid of this. Dirt. Now you can do things that move cards. So if I have something that says discard a card, I can discard that one into my discard pile. I also have forethought somewhere in the deck, which allows me to push it to the bottom of my uh, draw pile. So with all of that, let's throw this thing out. Oh, it's an exhaust. Cool head. And we're done. All right, now we're coming up on turn four. Now, what I have done for myself, typically to make these things go a little faster, is I've played Thunder Strike first. That way, when the Tempest happens, I don't have to sit around for hours watching it. Now, it's even more important that I do this. I'm gonna play this guy three times. I play it once with the card. I get one for Echo Form, and I get one for the Necronomicon. Which usually does a lot of good work about making these guys weaken. Or uh, outright killing them. So, for example, if I throw out this burn, there's three. So 
Thank God those extra ones don't count as an exhaust. I don't have room to do this and seek the other Thunderstrike, which I will grab. And I'll take the forethought too. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, hello. Thunderstrike. Let's see if I can get him down and get him out. Not quite. And then, of course, I'll do Tempest, which is 993 times or 996 times uh, whatever this is going to be. Hey, look, I'm leveling up. But you can see the speed with which Tempest goes. Boom, boom, boom. For Thunderstrike, boom, 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 boom. It's just so much faster to kill things with Thunderstrike if I can. Alrighty, so we got the we got the gels out of here. No, no, no. Skip. Skip. Question mark. Don the red mask. Yes, absolutely gonna don the red mask. Get some no gold. Question mark. Toke. Goodbye normality. Very dangerous card for me to have. There's like three bad cards. Two for play. Oh my god, I am so sorry that we ran into Nef Nemesis. Nemesis will take me a long time to kill. Um, and I'm just... I don't know what to do with that. I was hoping I wouldn't run into a Nemesis. Alright, so we will toss Secret Technique. Keep the rest. That's it. Um, we'll throw out Aggregate, which I think actually doesn't give me anything. We're going to Seek for Echo Form and a Reboot. The Reboot's going to be key now. Uh, we will... No, let's not do that yet. I don't need to. Burning Storm. Whatever is zero is usually better to play. And especially when you got Sneko Eye making stuff, you know, cost more. There's a free genetic. Free-ish. Genetic. Well, I get to double the next Amplify, huh? That's double. I'm going to double the uh, Echo Form. The first two cards are played twice. Machine Learning. Alright. So now I'm at a point where... Damn it. I want to reboot. But I also have an opportunity to strip some armor from them, and I'm gonna do that. Very important with this guy going intangible all the goddamn time. Every other round he goes intangible. That means on turn five, he'll be intangible. I can try to manage my my stuff here so that um, I need to make sure I have max energy as well. We got that, and we're good. I think I'll just stop right here. Storm. So it's really important that I try to do a lot of damage to this guy. Um, if he's down below a thousand health, I can still blow through his intangible with my Tempest at max. Alright, so the first two things are going to double. Nice, I'm up to 300 armor, or 300 energy. I don't have any armor real loss there. Um, remove all orbs, gain energy for each. I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and recycle. The vision out of here. I don't need my deck at all. Uh, let's do a. Do I reboot or seek? I think I reboot. Keep the seek. Excellent. So, first two things doubled. I'm going to keep my storm and my buffer for the first round next turn. And turn. Um, I could take heat sinks because no matter how much extra damage I'm doing, I'll only do one point per hit. Alright, Thunderstrike, good. I wanted the Thunderstrike in this. Let's double up Storm. Let's double up Buffer. Not intangible this one. So I'm doing a ton of damage to them. Let's play out these wounds. The slides. Nice. Um, I'll do this. Take off a point. Alright, so I have a one point defrag, which I can double both of those next round. I am going to go ahead and Thunderstrike him. Yeah, 
actually. And I'm gonna ride the armor. I have take another deep break. I have the, um, the buffers up, so if it does go through my armor, and it possibly does. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, so I have two defrags I'm going to play here for doubled up. There we go. Do it again. Play out all of these cards on my hand. Another fission. Seriously? What's with the visions? Give me a break. All right. Do I have anything I'm really going to want to get out of here? I need the recycle. The other thunder strike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I can get two cards. So we'll take a, um, a reboot. Do I have a reboot still? I don't have another reboot? Really? I thought I did. Oh, I lost it. Right, right. Okay, then heat sink might help me with card draw. Anything else help me with the card draw? We've got the recycle in hand. Let's get the decay. We'll burn off the decay. And I think I'm saving everything else, am I not? I'm going to let him hit me. I think I'm going to be able to ride this for another turn. And I'm doing that in case I have to go all the way around to 10 times on, uh, on the teapot. Yeah, he went through it and he used. Ooh, yeah, he hit hit me for one. It's fine. Okay, let's double heat sink. We'll double his defrag. up a genetic to be at max so let's see I can double the energy double the energy again double this energy there we go just keep doubling the energy play these things out then my deck uh, what's coming up here void deck economic curse don't have a power in hand this will hit 59 times once um, because it's at zero cost. So what is that? 590, like a thousand points of damage ish? Yeah, let's do that. That'll remove all the remaining armor he has. And put him in the range of a Tempest that I gotta find. So we're done. Uh, dude. We're done, right? There we go. Skip. Throw those three birds in my, my discard pile. Goody, goody, two shoes for you. Alright, I get to double up something. I don't know what the hell I'm doubling. I can double recycle. Double up the recycle. Recycle that. Recycle that. The leaves. Consume an orb, an orb slot for focus. Um, forethought, the Neconomic Curse to the bottom of the deck. I have no cards left. Genetic Burn, Energy Seek. Can I get to that? Eight, no. I will not make it to Seek in time. Do I have any other... Th I got Defrag coming up eventually. Do I want to do this and just grab cards? I will fill out my hand. So if I do this, this is what we'll do. There we go. Now I can, uh, I think, double or triple this, right? 
so I'm at 12. He's got intangible up, I have Tempest. Can I do any other damage to him? I got a Seek. That put me at 13. I could pull out Thunderstrike and I'll play it twice, which won't kill him. Alright, the only way I can see to kill him is to actually play the Tempest now. Oh my god. I am so sorry. I'm going to have to go in here and find where to, to give you a button to skip to or something. All right, just, I don't know what the time is. People take a look at it. I mean, in real time for me right now, it's 11.32. This is going to take like five minutes. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so that's what? That's 11.46 for me, so that's what? 14 minutes to kill him? Unbelievable. Alright, at least keep, we'll keep moving. I do have winged boots. I could skip over one side or another, but I don't think I'm going to. Not enough advantage. We'll go up this way. So, I might try to cut that out using my video software, my editing software, but we'll see if it causes problems. I'm going to bail on it. And I'll see if I can do a, a link to jump to the time where this all takes place. Uh, secret weapon don't need. A decay I don't want. The rest of it's good. Aggregate. Storm. Storm. Because these guys require a little bit more energy. It's 132 energy I need. Again, I, can, I figure that by saying... Roughly the damage while I get for evoke is, is 10. But by the point in time that I actually evoke, it'll be 10 ish. And uh, so I just divide their total hit points by 10, and that's the amount of energy I need to kill them with my Tempest. Seek, which I probably should have done a little bit earlier rather than chatting at all you all. Play these two cards. Uh, we will forethought the Necronomic Curse at the bottom of the deck. Play the genetic. Make sure I have that out. Uh, ball lightning. Uh, barrage. And we'll save the defrag. Skip. Yep, five's not bad, but we'll see. Gonna double defrag. Then again, uh, you can see my my evoke is gonna be 12 now that I've done that. So yeah, my my calculations seem to work out pretty well. Now don't do that yet. Get rid of these. Doom and gloom. Sure, let's do that. Get the buffer. Got a couple of thunder strikes. I could hammer them, but they still have the ethereal on them. Or the intangible on him. I don't know why I'm always saying ethereal. Seems like I want it. Got the reboot in there. I'm just going to go ahead and end this round. Skip. I don't like Hello World for this deck. It's bad enough that I'm getting a lot of crap in my hand. I don't need it. It's another one. Alright, double up, huh? So we're going to double up the energy. Lay these things out. Uh, Melter, double energy, and then this thing. I think I could do a thunder strike on this guy now. And uh, what is that going to hit? Three times? So that's 469 or 700 points of damage. That should be fine. Double energy, double energy, double energy. after all of those happen. Grab a defrag. Got the reboot already. So what? Recycle? Maybe? Static discharge. We'll throw that out. Toss out the room. The rest of it looks fine. Let's go ahead and end turn. 
thinking of doubling the energy rather than the blue bag. It's primarily because I, it is possible for me to get my focus up so high that I just bleed them to death before I get to the point where I actually want to kill them. Ew! Reinforced body is bad. I want that out of there. Go ahead. Delete that. I'm more than happy to do that. We'll throw up a heat sink. Throw out the burn. There's nothing else to seek for, I think. We'll end here. Did I? No, I should be fine. I do have two buffers up, so if they do get through my armor, I'm fine. Double defrag? Yeah, double defrag. Throw out the genetic. Burn these things out of my hand. We'll play this on him. We'll play the deep. We'll double up our energy because why not? The heat sink! Let's play the heat sink. Set a burn. Oh dear god. Recycle a reboot. Barrage on the same guy. Skim top three cards. Another burn. Oh, I can't. I'm done. All right. <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. Okay, next. Now let's double up the deep end again. This turn five, huh? I'm supposed to kill them this turn? Alright. Um, damn it, this is only gonna happen once. Oh, well, that's good enough. Excellent. Alright, so I can get another card out. Let's go here. Toke. From the bottom, take out the decay. Okay, we're curse free! Nice. Question mark. Rare relic. Absolutely. Let's go for that one. Good, good instinct. Keep Thunder Strike. It'll flip them. It's good. And Tempest, of course, comes in. Great. 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 Storm. Machine learning. Storm. I like the order there. Machine learning. Machine learning. Electrodynamics. Uh, uh, that there. And then let's strip off his armor. Alright, there's 11. Either they made a change to the way this stuff works, or uh, there's a problem with them, but we, uh, we'll see. Um, I do not have the doubling, do I? Do not. So we'll throw up Electrodynamics. Burn, slime, burn. Do that. 15 damage, pulling zeros out of my discard pile. Aggregate. Oh, there's one. Nice. Block. Alright, so if I hit him 15 times... He's intangible, really won't help me any. Throw up a buffer. I guess I'm ending the turn here. Echo form. Seventy, one forty, something or other. I think I'll wait around. Snap there. I know I can at least do one double energy. Well, that should be fine.
we'll skip this. So there's a double this round, so we'll double this up. And I could wait until next turn. Yeah, I'm going to wait until next turn to double that. Let's get these out of here. Creative X. Yeah, I don't like creative AI. Your history. Give me another one. Recursion. Sure. That gives me an extra one of these here. Let's go ahead and hit him a bunch. Flip them again. Poor bastard. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Almost ripped up all this armor. And I think I'm going to Thunderbird Strike him again. And it's probably worth armoring up again. Blizzard! Alright, next. See? I want to get a reboot. Um. Double the energy. Let's go ahead and do defrags. Play the seek. Grab a heat sink. Looper. The heat sink. Play looper. Play capacitor. Um, still don't have a reboot. Let's seek it out. You. We will just reboot. Cross that out. Cross that out. We are done. Let us double machine learning. It is turn five, so I kind of need to find a. I guess I could do multi the multicast work. Nine. Buffer. Evoke your next orb X times. So I can evoke this one 900 some odd times, right? 16? So let's do multicast. Oh dear god, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> but it's turn five, so I got I got kinda gotta do it. Yay, we killed him. Got a circlet and a nothing else. Question mark. Continue, huh? We get to play? Alright, so there's... Oh my god. Vision and pain. Blind and vision. <laughs> Blind and vision. Auto shield and vision. I don't want anything. Zap and vision. Nice. Oh, I didn't get anything. <laughs> oh wait, wait, don't jump. Wait, where am I? I'm right here. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, so yeah. Raptomancer is pretty mean. He's not a nice fella.
Renaissance Bandage. I've got the genetic. Actually, I don't need both genetics. I just need one for the moment. Let's toss one. Aggregate. Learning. Actually, I should be doing Storms first. Regardless. Alright, now I can do these. Another machine learning. Algorithm, defrag, leap. Recycle. Economic curse, I'm done! I stop! Alright, we'll get the we'll get the seek next round. I'm gonna throw in a bias cognition in here. I needs to kill things. These these can be pretty pretty nasty. There's an echo form, perfect. I don't have double play. So I'm gonna go ahead and forethought an economicers down. Play out these guys, see if anything materializes. No nope. echo form is out. Seek. Thunderstrike reboot. Cognition. Oh damn it, it means I'm kinda of hoping it wouldn't, but hey, whatever. Thunderstrike. I need to kill at least one of these guys. They hit really hard. So every time I can cycle them, it's a good thing. Throw up some more blocks. Reboot. Heat sinks. Defrags. Claws. Uh, let's see. What am I going to do here? I'm going to do nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's that? Uh, 63? Yeah, he dies. All right. I'll throw up a heat sink. I'll throw up a heat sink. And it's just like so in that. Enter. I get another bias. Ouch. Ouch. I told you these guys are nasty. Raptomancer took me from 999 armor and killed me. Oh well. Thank you for joining me. Look at the numbers here. Oh, 204,000 points. And I just, I did a little bit of an unlock. Look at that. I, I, it didn't even give me a lot of points down here, but seriously. Flores climbed 1,356. Got 307 enemies slain. I got elites 620. City elites 1,280 points. 62, 64, 65. 84 bosses. I like shiny. I like gold. Mystery machine. Collector. Librarian. I got the collector twice. Champion for 182. That's, uh, yeah, defeat an enemy without taking any damage, which I certainly did do. Beyond perfect, defeat three bosses without taking any damage, certainly did that. Overkill, combos, and Ascension level one gives me a 5% bonus on all my scores. So, there you go. I made it to level 27, Act 3, almost to the very end. I only had one more uh, thing there before I hit the boss. But that is so cool. And um, I am not going to be continuing Slay the Spire at this point. I'm going to go into, I think, one of the other things for this slot, time slot. Uh, this was actually taking up three slots on my schedule. I did the 7 a.m. once every three days for this, plus I did a 4, a 4 o'clock in the afternoon twice for the next two days, just because these were starting to take so long, I was breaking them down into smaller pieces. But here you go. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Oh, new unlocked cards. Echo form. I like echo form. Bye-bye. Creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind I go with the windows, I run but I don't hide I